What's popping YouTube? It's your girl Jay, and I'm back to pop my sh again. Before we get into the video, make sure you guys check the description box below. Follow Out Loud LLC on all platforms and also go to outloudllc.org to get your journals, your mental health coloring book, your, note your notepads, your pens, and your stickers. Everything is on there, so shop the full catalog now on outloudllc.org. Since aesthetics is like a thing now, and I know a lot of people want to wait till they get to a certain aesthetic to try to pursue content creation. But I'm here to tell you that you don't have to do that. Number one, first and foremost, don't ever try to fit an aesthetic um, and prolong your journey. You know what I'm saying? I understand we want things to be perfect. You're talking to someone who's been doing this for a long time. I have definitely struggled with this, but I've had my run. I've had my fair share. I'm to the point where it's now, it's like, I'm either going to do it or I'm not. You feel me? So I just want to give you guys advice and tips on how to be a content creator if you don't have the luxury aesthetic or the aesthetic that, you know, that is kind of being pushed on today's algorithm. First and foremost, um, just because it's a certain aesthetic that is being pushed on today's algorithm and social media does not mean you have to follow it, okay? You do not have to follow it. It is going to be a little harder for your content to get out because it is a little harder for mine, I'll be honest and say, like, you know when i post stuff that's not aesthetically pleasing aesthetically pleasing it doesn't do numbers but i'm at the point where it's like i can't worry about that i can't really stress that i can't really be to the point where it's like oh i don't want to film or oh i don't want to do this i don't want to do that because you know i don't have a high rise or because i'm not driving this or because i don't have this on or because i don't have that on you know it gets to a certain point where you just gotta go for it and that's my first piece of advice don't ever feel like just because this don't ever feel like just don't ever feel like just because this is being pushed that you have to do that if you want to get your numbers up real quick and and grow fast then yes that is the way but i'm a firm believer in stick it to the code stick it to my script and you know just being myself authentically me i don't have to fake the funk i don't have to fake content for it to go viral i'm just not with that i've never been i've never switched the script for this long since i've been doing content and i won't start now so my first piece of advice is to just not worry about the aesthetics second piece of advice would be plan out your content right and what i mean by plan out your content that's what anybody whether you got in the um, in the a luxury aesthetic life or just a regular life um plan your content and the reason why i say plan your content is because it's going to help you kind of get out of that funk because i'm a lot of the times the people that do have that luxury um aesthetic life they can kind of just film whatever if it's you know aesthetically pleasing and it'll go viral but for some of us who don't have that same um aesthetic we have to kind of plan it and what i mean by planning is do what i'm doing now i'm not at home right now i decided to come out and film content because i don't like filming in the house i kind of get tired this gives me something to look forward to because this is my job so it's kind of like i'm at work right now which technically i am at work so try to you know plan to go to different places to film or go um out to eat do a vlog do a solo day just try to plan different stuff that's going to get you out of the house because just because like your current life or like your house or you know your car or whatever just because that isn't aesthetically pleasing doesn't mean that you can't go out into the world and go to different places that might have a certain aesthetic that look nice like this background i think look nice it's a lot of noise going on in the background but hey it is what it is um so that's my second piece of advice my third piece of advice would be to know what you're doing it for, right? Know what you're doing content creation for. If you're doing content creation for some quick little views and things like that, and it's not really your passion, then yes, it is. Then yes, it is going to be hard if you don't have that aesthetically pleasing lifestyle. But if you're anybody like me, you don't have like the aesthetically pleasing lifestyle, you don't drive, you know, where everybody else drive, you don't have the type of place everybody else have, and this is your passion, baby, you gotta, like I said, you gotta go for it. You gotta go for it. Stop waiting on um, the perfect moment, because baby, it'll never be the perfect moment. Like, 
I used to sit back and be like, oh, okay, I'm gonna wait till I get this, wait till I get that. And y'all, I waited till I got a luxury car. I waited till I got my luxury apartment. Guess what? I still didn't film because I just wasn't in the headspace to do it. And it took me to get out of that situation and to get back kind of low so I can understand, like, this is what God's been telling me all along. This been in me. This is in me, not on me. Like, you can't buy what I give. You can't buy the type of content I produce. You can't buy my personality. You can't buy my sense of style i mean you can but you never gonna pull it off the way i can because this is authentically me be authentic and be true to you if you you're not really into content creation but you see that it's popping off and working well for others then it's not going to work because you're going to always feel like oh well i need this or i need that or i need this and i need that when you when you know that something is destined for you you're going to do what you got to do regardless i know that this is me i know that this I, confirmation I know that this is me I know that this is for me so I'm gonna get my little self up and I'm gonna go film some content that's what I'm gonna do y'all not me trying to be cute and film outside but baby it's hot it's hot we gonna we gonna pop up in here who ain't on the aesthetic baby I am I am the aesthetic I need somebody to type in the chat right now I am the aesthetic I am the aesthetic okay anywho yeah, like who needs an aesthetic? Like when you are the aesthetic. So don't feel like you can't film and do what you gotta do because society says so. Like it don't it don't work like that. It don't work like that. When you got something you gotta do, you gotta do it. It's never gonna be a perfect moment. I used to wait around for a perfect moment. Guess what? That moment never came. It never came. And who finna sit around and wait? No. I got things I gotta do. I got stuff I gotta do. Like so if I gotta get out the house to film some content because my house isn't aesthetically pleasing, then that's what I'm gonna do. Follow people that you can relate to. And this is something I had to do. Um, I, being someone who has been doing this for a long time, I could kind of tell who fakes the funk and who just really have a genuine lifestyle. Like it's some people that have a luxury aesthetic lifestyle, but that's their lifestyle. Like you could tell that's actually them. Like Kyra Amonique, like you could tell that that's actually her like that's her Diara. that's like that lifestyle is actually her but to some people that just oh i'm finna go do this because i seen this person do it and i can't watch those kind of people but i do watch a lot of people who i can tell like have genuine lives like they just pick up the camera and just vlog because that's what i do so i just pick up the camera and vlog like what's up like what's he and some people do have luxury lifestyles. Like I said, that's for them. And then you got some people who I do follow that's on the come up like me. Like, maybe you ain't got it all the way together, but that's okay, because you getting there. You grinding. I can follow and respect somebody that's getting there and grinding, just like me. I won't, I won't say you got to follow people that have the same lifestyle as yours, but definitely follow people that you could tell they have genuine lives. That'll help you to stop trying to compare yourself. And that brings me to my last and final point. Don't compare yourself to people who you know have an aesthetic and you don't if content creation is something you want to do you have to do it you can't wait until you get a specific apartment you can't wait until you get a specific car you can't wait until you you just can't wait you can't wait when there's something that won't let you rest you can't wait anyways and that's how i am when it comes to my content i can't wait till you know i get my own place i can't wait till i get another car like I just have to get up and do because how 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 do i expect to get this luxury style apartment and this luxury car if i'm waiting for it so that means i'm either finna go work a job i don't want to work to get it or i'm finna hustle my ass off and work on my content and work on my craft and work on my business that's also going to help push me to get in that luxury lifestyle aesthetic because it's nothing wrong with having a luxury aesthetic it's nothing wrong with i want it you know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with having a luxury. Let me not say aesthetic, but because I feel like the aesthetic is like you. It's nothing wrong with having a luxury lifestyle. Everyone strives to. Everyone should strive to have a luxury lifestyle. But don't get so caught up in what other people got going on that you lose sight of your journey. Because I'm going to tell you something. Some some um, Nicki Minaj said, said this one time. When, you, when you're there, you're there. It's all about the journey. It's all about the journey. And I didn't realize that at first. I used to always like feel like, oh my gosh, like when is it gonna be my turn? When is this gonna be over? When am I gonna be able to finally have, you know, the things that I want in life? And I had to realize that it's the journey. 
it's the journey this 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 journey is what's going to help me like get to where i'm trying to go so i want to be able to look back and be like dang i really hustled like i really grind i really thugged it out so i can get here yeah, sometimes you gotta thug it out to get to where you're trying to go and, and i'm gonna be honest with you if you're afraid to post and you if you're afraid to post like your non-aesthetic life or you're afraid to post like your non-perfect life you're never going to get to where you're trying to go and i can tell you that because i went through that like i was waiting for the perfect moment so bad to the point where it's like now i don't have a choice but to do this like and i've been consistent i've been doing it and that's what you have to do if you're afraid to thug it out then you're never going to be successful in content creation because sometimes that's just what it is even some of the you know top successful people that you know post content now they still go through certain things ours just look a little different so do with that what you will you know you have to figure out what's really for you and what's not for you if it's not for you then you might just have to let content creation go like if you're waiting on that perfect time that perfect moment then you got to ask yourself is this really what i want because if this is really what I want, I'm gonna make it happen regardless of what I'm living in or what I drive. Because none of that defines you. Like I said, you can't buy real, authentic, genuine um, connection through a screen. Like I always get, you know, comments from my followers that, you know, they can feel my energy through the screen because this is real. Like I'm literally in a public place. It's people walking back, making noise, but I, I don't care. I got content to film. I got to get my content out. And to be honest, you need to follow people like me. And if you don't, if you're not subscribed to me, follow me. Subscribe to me. Follow me on all platforms. These people like me, and I don't want to just say me, but like people that can get up, do what they got to do, thug it out, get it done, and not worry about the extra stuff. Those are the type of people I be wanting to follow. And those are the type of people that you need to follow because those people are going to help motivate you on your journey. You like, well, if she doing it, then I could do it too, right? So that's just my little advice on how to be a content creator without a luxury aesthetic pleasing life. And it's okay. Like, don't let that tear you down. Like, like I said, I didn't have my fair share of letting it, you know, beat me up. Like, you know, dang, like I wish I still had, you know, my apartment. I wish I still had my car, you know. But when I did have those things, I still wasn't consistent. So. Nine times out of 10, sometimes it's stuff that you have to deal with internally, because again, it's in you, not on you. Always remember that. And again, if you don't follow me, make sure you follow me on all platforms. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Um, definitely follow me on TikTok, because I've been on TikTok a lot. Y'all know this. And also go to outloudllc.org to get your mental health coloring book, your notepads, your journals, and your pens and stickers. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.